Right then. Hello all. Uh, welcome to Season 2 of Iskandar's Travels in RPG Minecraft. Uh, yep, I've been doing the industrial side of things for a while. Uh, but lately I've been wanting to go adventuring uh, more. So, um, that really kind of coincided with me uh, finding out about the Divine RPG mod. Uh, watching some spotlights and let's plays on YouTube. Um, so I thought I'd go ahead and put together my own little pack of mods uh, that, you know, really go with the whole RPG and magic and adventuring feel of uh, Minecraft. So here we are in uh, Season 2. Um, Alright, so before I get started, uh, let me point out a couple of things. Um, I'm using, of course, uh, quite a few mods, uh, Divine RPG being the central uh you know, the central mod of the whole thing, but I'm also using um, Runic Dusts, Ars Magica, Dimension Doors, Thomcraft 3, um, Infernal Mods, Infernal Mobs, sorry, uh, Ruins, uh, quite a few other mobs, um, mods, sorry, too. I'll, I'll, I'll get into them as they come up. Um, also using Damage Indicators, which is kind of handy, uh, especially with the Divine RPG's uh, giant collection of mobs whose names I both don't know and whose health is really kind of outrageous. So, a little wisp out there, 10 points. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. You can see the uh, Divine RPG mana bar in the lower right. Ars Ma uh, Magica mana there. So, Thomcraft 3 total over the distance. And we have ruins out there, as well as, for some reason, a hot air balloon. So, and you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> you know what I'm going to do with that balloon? That balloon be made out of wool. So I'm going to go over there and vandalize me a balloon. Yes, I am. Yeah, um, yeah so we're going to get started here. Um... As we usually do with uh, Minecraft by punching trees. Um, that's how it goes around here. But yeah, this is uh, this is you know, unlike my technical let's play where I work on building and designing crazy contraptions. This is really going to be more about adventuring. Uh, Divine RPG uh, has seven uh, other dimensions, as well as let's turn this back on real quick. Um, where is it? Somewhere. There we go. A huge, ginormous collection of weapons and armor and fun little toys to play with. So, and of course, there are bosses to summon and fight and all sorts of fun stuff. And, you know, Ars Magica allows me to be a, be a wizard and throw spells all over the place. And it's going to be, it promises to be a lot of fun. Um, and for those of you who enjoy watching me, you know, die a lot. Um, have no worries, uh, I've been playtesting this a little bit, and let me just say that the Divine RPG mod adds, uh, a rather stunning level of difficulty to the game. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, comes to mind. Let's see if I can get up into this hot air balloon, because I want its wool, or at least some of its wool. I need a dang, I need a bed, so... Um, yeah, the Ruins mod. It has these nice little weird little ruins here, there, and elsewhere. Um, some of them are decorative, like this balloon. Some of them will have chests in them. A lot of them will have traps. <laughs> so, you know, a little, bit, a little bit of exploration into the world. Here we go. I am on normal. Okay. Eh, I don't see anything here. But, wool is my friend. I'll have to go catch that now. I feel kind of bad about that, honestly. <laughs> but I really need to go through and purge uh, some of the ruins out that don't really fit in an RPG. I just plain forgot. I'm a little late now, so. Um, for those of, you know who want to you know, follow along, um, I actually do have a world download and a config pack of uh, config files for all the mods uh, available um, on, on in the giant in the playground forum. I'll link that. 
uh, in the description of this. Um, go ahead and drop the config files in your config folder. Um, drop the save in the save folder. Uh, I also have a list of all the mods and the versions I'm uh, versions of the mods I'm using. So you can load up multi MC, drop it on the mods, drop my config files in, and you can just you know play along you know with me and you know, check out. Um, I'll I'll do updated world downloads as I go along, so you can see the progress I'm making for yourself if you'd like. Um, it should be noted that I don't think. Uh, any research I do in Thongcraft, I'm pretty sure that the research will not transfer over. And I'm not sure about Ars Magica either, for that matter. Whoa! What? Ah, yes. Cyclops! Divine RPG Mob. You can see how silly, how many silly hit points they tend to have. Um, <laughs> vanilla weapons and such don't really cut it against them. I think a Diamond Sword does about 10 damage. And that thing has 400. Um, where did my last piece of wool go? There it goes. Alright. So now I have enough here for a bed. That will make my life a little less crazy. Um, I have enough wool for bed. I have enough wood to make basic tools. So, you know, we can get along. Um, I need food and shelter, but we can afford to go exploring a little bit. Um... Now I've been watching again. I've been watching some spotlights and YouTube let's plays, uh, reading the wikis a bit. So I'm not completely clueless with all these mod mods. Uh, that said, <laughs> there is you know I'm I'm not that experienced either, outside of Thomcraft three of course. So I do apologize if I'm a little bit uh, you know fumbly with my playing. Um, I'm going to do my best not to be too goofy, but you know how it goes sometimes. Anyway, let's go ahead and pick up some of this cobble. Because if I can go ahead and skip the whole wooden tools thing, I'll do it. Uh, wooden tools are just, you know, useless. So, all right. Here we go, one wooden pickaxe. I don't have any chests hidden around here or not, for that matter. Nor do I particularly care. I'm here for the mossy cobble. I mean, that's muscle. For the regular cobble. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Ah. Uh, uh. hm. Pig. <laughs> I don't, oops, let me grab that oh. Eh. So you're talking instead of paying instruments to be doing. Um. Oh, that's the way it goes some days. Yep. Anyway, uh. Just get some basic starting supplies here. The sun goes down too far. And the sun really is going down, so I think I can just go ahead and uh, drop you down. I'm not quite ready to face the night, so... Well, let me skip it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's mildly cheating, but it works. It used to be that uh, you actually had to have a house around you when you slept. Uh, now you just gotta not have monsters anywhere nearby. Um, and as long as I sleep before it's too dark, there won't be monsters nearby. So, <sighs> yay for that. Hot air balloons. Um, yeah, you can see all the little ruins. That... Now, so many things are, uh, I think there will be a couple things added by Ars Magica. Um, Archmage Towers and such. I'm not exactly sure how to tell it apart from the ruin stuff. Um, the ruin stuff is rather interesting because you do have... I mean, you really do have to be careful because some of the stuff is heavily, heavily trapped. And you can get yourself in some really bad trouble if you're not careful. Um, there we go. Sorry about that. 
Uh, I'm still a little sick, so I'm coughing a little. And so I'm going to be cutting the video every now and again, so I'm not coughing your guys' ears. Because I know that's just not very professional at all. Alright, so... And I do try not to... So yeah, I'm just kind of... Gathering up a lot of this stuff. I think I'm about, I'm about good here. I need enough for a furnace, some tools, and... Ooh! That's pretty awesome. Say hello to the Dimension Door mod. Now you see it. <laughs> now you don't. It adds pocket dimensions to our to the overworld. Um, you can actually create some yourself, or you can find um, pocket dimension dungeons, uh, like I found here. It should be noted that the wooden door means you're getting closer to the overworld, to, to our reality, while any iron doors you, you see mean you're getting further away. Um, and it is entirely possible. You keep getting, get going down and down and down, and you'll get lost. And I understand there's some rather freaky stuff uh, down here if you go allow yourself to go further down. So... Now, there's a door down there, and there wasn't there a door. Yeah, this is kind of weird. There's no floor here. All right, so that's the door I came in at, but there's a door here as well. Interesting. Ah. Um. Okay, that's bizarre as all get out. Ah. Well, that's 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 disturbing, honestly. If you must know, that's a little disturbing. The whole dimension doors thing is kind of freaky. Um. Okay. Oh, hey, Jess. Fabric of reality. It's what the uh, floor is made out of. It's what looks so freaky. Infinity. I'll be useful for a bow. Some iron ingots, of course. I'll need a bucket. More iron ingots. A thomium hoe. I'll take that. I'll, I'll use a hoe. Bread. Gunpowder. All right. Wheat and gunpowder. Actual bread. All right. It's pretty awesome. Nice little collection of stuff. I love the iron. I don't want to go too far down. Um, simply because. Uh, there's no telling what's down there. And I don't know what happens if you die in here. I just don't. Alright, that's just ridiculous. One moment. And you, never, you really can't tell where you're going to end up. So. You know, you can make your entire, um, you know, living space inside of a pocket dimension. And where did I pop back out? Where did I? Um, um. Hello? Alright, I think that's the, uh. And now I have a door just kind of floating in space. That's pretty damn awesome. Alright, that's enough of that. We'll, we'll go explore those dungeons a little later. Again, you can actually craft those doors yourself and make an entire base in a pocket dimension. You can pretty much build a TARDIS. Um, and that's just pretty damn awesome in and of its own right there. So, sun's high in the sky, so we just keep going. Um, I'm deliberately trying to avoid uh, monsters at the moment. You saw, of course, the Cyclops, which are thankfully... Um, you know, not hostile. Um, there are other things out there that definitely are hostile. Uh, I've done some playtesting. God, is it not friendly out there? So, 
That's one reason why I was so adamant on getting a bed. Um, you know, the Divine RPG mobs, all the monsters have all these silly amounts of health. They also do a lot of silly amounts of damage. So until I get some armor and weapons that are worth something. Uh, but these are our, these are ours magic of flowers here. And of course, whales with 800 freaking hit points. And what the hell is that? No, really, what the hell? Oh, I hope these guys aren't unfriendly. Hi! Okay, that's kind of pretty. Um... That... Why do we have so many freaking hot air balloons? I'm gonna have to go figure out how to disable those. They're kind of out of place. Everything else looks pretty cool. But... What in the hell? Alright, that's kind of fascinating. I have it, some curiosity, and what the heck, it's not like I've gone far in this game, so if this is heavily trapped or anything, so be it. Um, apparently my renderer is having an issue keeping up. Um, which really says something. You know, I have a fairly... Uh, decent computer and it's, it's struggling. All right, it's 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 what is this? Is that made out of clay? Yes, it is. Well, that's interesting. And um. A little afraid to mess with this. I don't trust this, but I got no choice. That's what I thought. Oh god. Huh. What do you know about that? <laughs> huh, just turn even the little slightest, the entire tower comes crashing down. Well, that's interesting. I wonder what's up there. Well, I got ladders. I can go check it out. Apparently, I don't have enough ladders. No problem. No, sandstone and clay. That's kind of um interesting nonetheless. Alright. It's an interesting thing. I don't know how it's very useful, but it's interesting. Here we kinda. Alright. But you can see what, what what I mean by trap, by the way. You know, I disturbed one block and the entire structure pretty much came crashing down. So, kind of a joke there, really honestly. And I gotta be careful in this water. I understand um, Divine RPG includes sharks. Um, I don't currently see any sharks. So... Doesn't mean there aren't any. Doesn't mean I don't see any. Uh, but yeah, there's just so much to see and do and explore here. I'm, it's gonna be, it's gonna really kind of be kind of hard trying to decide what to do. Nope. <laughs> there shall be no night time yet. <laughs> Will not have it. <laughs> not when I'm not armed to fight much anything just yet. <laughs> I want at least iron armor before I try uh, doing much exploring at night in the open. Oh yeah, it should be noted uh, that for Divine RPG, you know how diamond armor is the strongest thing in the game? Yeah, not so much. <laughs> it's like the minimum entry to, to, to even manage to start fighting. So the Divine RPG stuff. So, yeah. Uh, they had some new ore generation.
to the world. Um, so, to make up for the fact that diamond armor isn't as protective against the RP, or divine RPG mobs as you'd expect. So, yay fun. Um, it should also be noted that I am playing on normal because, as I understand, the divine RPG mob mod also does cause certain problems uh, with difficulty curve just a bit. As I understand, you try playing on hard mode and um, you'll get one hit by everything. So, fascinating. Just kind of a little pillar of ore. Just kind of here. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just going to go ahead and pick it up. <laughs> I mean, I won't be getting the um, iron. I, I lack the uh, pick for that. But hey, you know, more coal. Don't mind if I do. All right, what do we got around right here? Ooh, some structures in that direction. Um, an autumn forest. Yes, yes. Uh, silverwood trees from from Thomcraft. Um, you know, this is actually not a bad little area here. Uh, I might have to. What is up with my? I'm not running. Am I running? I am running out to find. Eh, whatever. Apparently, it's not playing well. I may have to pull it. Oh, I'm not going to run a texture pack anyway, so I can... I'm mostly using it for the clear water mod ability. So, what do we got here? An abandoned house. What do we got here? Kind of looks like a uh, village house, actually. Ruined village house, mine, but it's a village house. Well, it might be a place to fix up and stay here in a minute. Let's keep looking around a bit, see what else we got out there. Yeah, see, there we go. Hey, we have a a well. A well, well, well. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, well. Okay, how do we get out of the well? Oh, yeah. I know how we get out of the well. This is how we get out of the well. All right. So we got ourselves a house, some nice pretty woods. What else we got around here? Oh, uh, wasteland in that direction. More plains off of, ooh. What do we got? Hello. More structures. Well, I hope you don't mind me just kind of wandering around, uh, checking things out, kind of, kind of at random. I tried to decide where I want to settle down and, you know, make my first home base and, Try to decide what I want to do, because, you know, there's a... Uh, of course, I got to get, you know, my, my um, Ars Magica stuff stuff set up I, so I can start, um, you know, earning levels as a spellcaster. Um, also, got to start collecting um, dusts for the Runic Dust mod, of course. And then there's mining for all the new ores and such that are available. And what mm -hmm. is... Oh. Oh shoot! Holy crap! Blazes? Yes! Apparently! On fire! On fire! Okay. I shall be leaving the blazes alone. What the hell was that? Holy crap comes to mind. Blaze spawners. Holy crap. Blaze spawners. Oh, cave. Okay. We have a nice little dungeon to go fight on later when we're stronger. We have a cave right here to go exploring. Silver wood and great wood trees. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, nothing here. Um, and even a structure right there to, to maybe stay in. 
There are webs on that great wood tree, isn't there? What? Oh, infernal mobs! Heh 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 heh. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's gonna be. Ah, uh, they actually make rare. Thought so. Uh. There you go. Um, the Infernal Mob mobs, uh, mod does this to certain overworld mobs, and I don't, hopefully not too many um, Divine RPG. You can see he has a normal Cyclops at 400 health. He has 1,200. He also has Vengeance, Rust, and Gravity, which I think Rust damages equipment. Gravity means he tosses you around, and I don't know what Vengeance means. <laughs> but, yeah, so... But he's not hostile, so he can kind of... I think I'm going to settle right here. I think this will do. Maybe not. <laughs> well, maybe not. Gotta settle somewhere. This is a good area, though. I mean, we got a nice little uh, cave and cave cave over there to explore, and all sorts of good stuff um, right nearby. I mean, this is this is the place to be. Uh, I just gotta find a, a, a nice, you know, what kind of those structures are around here? Besides just the I got, mm. I don't know. <sighs> but it makes me feel good to have a uh, a Thomcraft thing just nearby. Ooh, mm -hmm. ruined fountain. That's kind of nice. Is that something as well? So. Kind of wander around, get set up, and... Oh, wow! Hello! Yeah, that's a ruined, uh, that's a ruined forge. Is what that is. So this is definitely a ruined village type area. No chest, of course, but... That's kind of, that's kind of cool. We do have ourselves a furnace. So... And what else we got around here? Tell you what, I'm gonna fix that house up. That's what I'm gonna do. And then I gotta make me some, uh, make me some food first. But yeah, I, I'm gonna get me some some wood to repair it and kind of put it all back together like it's supposed to be. Um, but let me go ahead and put down this and get me some food going on because I am out of food yes I am all right so this is gonna be our base o operations all right And I can put my bed somewhere around here. So, yep. Here are my uh, random collection of stuff. And sort. And get back in there. There we go. I'll need you, of course, and my cobble. I'll, I'll stay off my iron for uh, We're gonna get ourselves two iron, two two stone swords, two stone pickaxes, stone shovel, and ourselves a stone axe, like so, and a stack of torches, also like so. And go ahead and light this place up a little bit. In preparation for darkness. Now, this place needs to be rebuilt, which means I need some wood. I mean, I got a little wood, but it's not of the proper type. It won't match. Oop, getting dark. Let's go ahead and sleep through the night again. I'm going to have to remodel this place. Ah, not quite dark yet. Come on. There we go. 